Right, day one, job one. Will it start? <laughs> Probably not. Get run over. Hit! Hang on, hang on, just hit. hit. So, for anyone new to the channel, this is Vincent, 1982 Volkswagen T25, two litre air cooled. Um, Danny and I bought this for a project that didn't. Um, end up happening and then we were gonna basically fit it out ready for a road trip to Greece but we end up cycling because this wasn't ready um it's a whole nother story but basically put it up for sale and then ends up running out of time to actually let people come and view it it did actually sell once had a deposit and everything um but fell through and then we ended up on the Thames on the river on the boat and just yeah really couldn't come back and sort of carry on with viewing so I thought what are you doing Pip and Layla, brother's dogs. <laughs> um, I really would have liked to have painted it last year, we just ran out of time. So I thought this year, season's just on the change, nearly May, fingers crossed got the weather, I'm just gonna give it a decent enough paint job. Gonna take the windows back out because as I was putting it together in a bit of a rush before the trip, um, the weather just wasn't allowing the paint to dry. I put the rubbers in and there's little bits of rust coming in on a few of them, just wanna show you. It's just not ideal. So, window's gonna come back out. Primer, yeah, just at the procrastination stage at the minute, because in my head I was like, oh yeah, I'll just give it a quick paint job, lovely. And then you start looking at how much trim, windows, masking, everything that you've got to do. I've painted a couple cars before. Um, it's been a while though. It's all coming back to me, how much work the prep is. It's all in the prep. But obviously, it's going to be what it'll be because I'm painting outside. So, don't mind me whilst I procrastinate a little bit. <laughs> I'm going to go around and just spray every screw that I think I'm going to take out in that bolt. GT85, it's like a WD40 equivalent. I actually prefer it to be honest.
I've just been down to the tool station to get some supplies. Then I'm gonna bite the bullet, start taking the windows out. It's supposed to be dry for another couple of days in which I'll hopefully have um, at least got the primer on and I can put the cover back on over the weekend whilst it rains. Hard to know what to do. Or do I just get the bodywork done as much as I can? But that's gonna be like, oh, the joys. British weather, eh? I might just take the windows out. Sod it, I'm gonna take the windows out. I've ordered some rubber trims, some more of this, because these ones were a couple mil too small compared to the last ones. And this window's not been cut particularly well, so I had to gap it with silicone and I ruined them, put them in. I was in a bit of a rush. There we go. So. Yeah, too bad. Just got back from walking the dog. Is that a good walk? You're hungry now. You want food? Right. Right, that's Barney fed. Now my turn for dinner. Thank you to HelloFresh for sponsoring another one of our videos. Been using HelloFresh for over six months now, if not longer. Tonight, I've gone for ultimate chicken tikka and rice. Comes with man breads as well. I'm going to get that on the go and then I'll explain to you about our friends over at HelloFresh. I'm a bit hungry. For how little effort that took, that is a 10 out of 10 curry. Banging. So simple, so tasty. Best thing is, with Danny not being here, not that I don't miss her, but I've got a second portion for tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to try HelloFresh for yourself, I can genuinely recommend it. We've not had a bad meal yet. That's honestly, we've not had a bad meal. There's over 100 different recipes to choose from per month. And for me, it just takes the hassle out of deciding what to cook or coming up with new recipes. But you can actually choose from a list, but still get to cook the food yourself. Um, yeah, just love it. Plus, by having everything individually portion sized in terms of ingredients, it actually cuts down on food waste by 21% versus the supermarket. So it's not just great food, it's also actually better for the planet. If you do want to try HelloFresh out for yourself, I'll leave the link in the description and pinned comment. Plus, if you use our code, you'll get 60% off of your first box. Plus, wait for it, free desserts for life. I don't know how they're doing it, but they are. So use our code, use the link, sign up, try a box, and you get free desserts. <laughs> oh, no, I'm doing that, yeah. Sorry, Danny. One for me. One for me. So it's a couple of days later. It's 
with a sad state of affairs really, it's just been on and off raining and there's no point me rust treating all this and then applying primer, which is about all I'd have time to do because primer is porous and by the time this sits for another couple of weeks, whenever a chance I get to come back down here, um, it's probably going to rust it through and I have to strip it all back. So I'm not going to bother with any more paint work, but there's still a couple more bits that I can hopefully do. That's all right for like today and tomorrow, but there's no point, so I'm not going to get a chance to do all the bodywork and get a top coat on. There's just no way. So, shame. Oh, and what I might do tomorrow, to be fair, I'm waiting for some welding wire, but I might, there's a bit here that needs welding. Um, I had to order it into tool station, they didn't have it in stock, so that can wait. For now though, got a little um, battery monitor thing that EcoWorby sent me to test. I don't even know if they're in production yet properly, but little battery monitor. Wall sensor? I don't know how that works. Right, three to instructions. Actually rained last night and I forgot to put the cover on. Cover was a little bit wet anyway because it's been on and off raining. Frog I think that's gone now because this has got a chemical reaction. I think they've got a um, patent. I think frog tape's got a patent that their edge reacts when it gets wet and it's like quite gluey now. It's supposed to stop, but I think that's ruined. Six quid. There's not even much point putting masking tape on because by the time I do get a chance to get back down here, masking tape really, I think you can get some two week stuff. Um, but if I don't get a chance to do it, then the masking tape is going to like really get stuck onto the roof and all the windows and stuff. It's just not worth it. Shame, but something to look forward to to get finished. Been a bit ambitious, I think, with the weather this time of year. Also, I gave up using this paper. That's all they had at tool station. It's, this is lining paper for wallpaper. Um, but it's just not flexible enough. It works right over here, but I tried doing the siding door. I think it's not really So at the minute, to check the voltage of the battery, I come onto my Victron app, um, 13.5 volts, battery voltage. Also yesterday I was walking Barney and I um, had a little fall. <laughs> <laughs> into a stream. I've really hurt my elbow. I don't know if I've chipped it or just bruised the bone, but it's like it's painful to touch. Oh wow, so I've I've seen these online before, but never really realised, but never really understood how they work. The cable, battery cable, literally passes through this, and then that's how it gains the, um, that's how it measures the current. <laughs> rather than a shunt. I don't know what the benefits are for either. That unscrews and that hinges. How have you found your dog sitting experience so far then, Barney? You leave a positive review? No? That was easy. Just put the water pump on. I have to set up. Oh, I've got to do all this. A hundred percent. It bolts. Nothing coming through it. Cool. I'm trying to figure out where to screw that in. Good morning. Weather update. Still rain. So today I'm just going to finish off my battery meter. What's it called? Right. Battery monitor. Today I'm going to finish off the battery monitor. I was going to do a bit of welding today or yesterday 
I was waiting all day for the welding wire to be available. It finally becomes available and then it starts raining. Then by the time I take the dog out, it's like dark. So thought I'd do it this morning and now I can't find a grinder. So I'm just taking that as a sign not to touch the bodywork this trip. Anyway, today I'm gonna to finish off this battery monitor. The plan's gonna be come back in the summer and finish this off when it's actually summer for the like three days sunshine we ever get a year. I don't know who I, who I thought I was kidding, to be honest. Oh my God. How's that even? I don't know if you can see that. On the, hang on, look at, look at this drill bit. How is that even, bloody hell. I lent this to my brother. That wasn't like that when I lent it to him. What's he been screwing in? Jesus. Anyway, don't lend your tools out, kids. Especially to your older brothers. He's all right, really. Thought that was awkward, putting the screws in. Good little screen. Well, I had really high hopes for that video. Thought I was gonna blast it out, get the van painted, all within a week. But weather won't have it, so sorry about that. When in doubt though, beer of the week. <laughs> I managed to pick this up in Marks and Spencer's. Kona Brewing Co. It's from Hawaii. Danny and I actually spent our honeymoon in Hawaii, did Big Island and Maui, rented a camper van on Maui actually, it's probably our last real taste of actual van life. This is their longboard island lager, oh no we didn't, I, I tell a lie, we weren't on Big Island, I think we did Oahu, Oahu and Maui. Mm. I remember drinking a few cans of this, waiting for Danny to finish her dive-in course she did there. Did a paddy. I did a day, I did a day's surfing, which is my first time surfing as an adult. I think I think I had a go when I was a kid down down in Cornwall somewhere. I stood up though, I stood up most of the time. I was quite tempted to start surfing after that, but when you come back to England to see the weather, fair play going on surfs in England. Yeah, I'm gonna call it a week. I'm gonna wrap the van back up now, get the cover on before it starts raining any minute. It's due within the hour. It's gonna be non-stop for about a week then. Um, yeah, so I'm going to put a cover on. Thank you so much for watching. <laughs> it's a bit of a funny video, really. Like I said, I really had high hopes of getting this painted, but weather was against me. Uh, join me next week, I'll be back on the boat. Um, thank you to our patrons. Yeah, and I'll see you then.